Hello, I am a senior researcher at the Institute for Organic Synthesis and Photoreactivity of CNR. CNR is the National Research Council, the main public research institution in Italy. Here we are in Bologna, a nice city in the north of Italy, famous for its university, the oldest in Europe. The aim of the research activity of my group is to give a contribution to the development of an innovative photovoltaic technology, organic solar cells, that is, solar cells uh, made of organic conjugating materials, abundant and non-toxic. This photovoltaic technology presents relevant advantages over traditional ones. This kind of solar modules can be produced thin, lightweight and flexible. They can be printed from solution through simple and low energy intensive processes such as round to round printing techniques. This means that the cost of this kind of modules can be drastically reduced compared to the additional photovoltaic technologies. These plastic modules have been fabricated by any company with the support of VDT, the Technical Research Center of Finland. Eni is the main Italian based energy company and this is not only oil and gas but also renewable energies. Research and development activities of organic solar cell are carried out by ENI at Istituto ENI Tonegani, one of its research centers. This technology is well adaptable to consumer electronics. In the long term, building integration and on-grid power generation can be also envisaged. Here in CNR, our group can prepare and investigate laboratory scale organic solar cell like this. In addition to the conventional current voltage characterization by using a sun simulator and source meter, uh, we use two main tools, two powerful tools for the investigation of our solar cells, impedance spectroscopy and time of light. In an impedance experiment, the charge relaxation driven by small harmonic voltage modulation is probed. The amplitude and the phase difference of the corresponding alternative current are monitored as a function of frequency. Frequencies is varied in order to obtain a spectrum, and usually direct bias is superimposed to the harmonic voltage modulation. The electrical behaves the device is modeled in terms of the equivalent circuits of resistors and capacitors. Impedance spectroscopy is used to investigate the mobility of charge carriers, the effective lifetime of charge carriers, and charge trapping effects. In a time of flight experiment, the sample in this chamber in vacuum is irradiated with a light pulse from a laser. A photocurrent transient is originated and acquired by a digital scope. Time of flight technique is used to investigate charge transport and the combination of charge carriers in organic solar cells. Currently, uh, the power conversion efficiency of large-scale organic solar cells is approaching 10%, but is reduced on the module scale. Uh, so, further enhancements are needed to find viable applications for this emerging photovoltaic technology. But the question is, how high can efficiency be? 
One of the main features of organic materials when compared to inorganics is the strong Coulomb interaction between charged carriers of opposite sign, which strongly affects the behavior of organic solar cells. This is due to the low dielectric constant of organic materials of around 3. If the dielectric constant is increased, the interaction between positive and negative carriers is reduced and higher efficiency for organic solar cells can be predicted. If organic materials with a dielectric constant as high as in organic semiconductors are developed close to 12 in case of silicon, solar cells with an efficiency exceeding 20% are possible, but maintaining the typical advantages of organic materials, lightweight, flexibility, and low-cost processing with printing techniques. This is the topic of our perspective.